One Piece Chapter 817 review. <laughs> Round of applause to Oda. This was an amazing chapter, guys. A lot happened. First, let's talk about Rizo. Rizo is amazing. Absolutely amazing. He's, a, he's definitely a Naruto parody. There's definitely a lot of jokes in there. Uh, Rizo of the Hidden Myth. The Hidden Myth Village. Not everyone has made that connection yet. Uh, Law's joke about the Clone Jitsu is obviously a parody of the Shadow Clone Jitsu. Then there's also, of course, the greatness that is his pose at the end of the chapter being a reference to Jiraiya. That was beautiful. Beautiful, I say. Beautiful. I love that. But a lot of people <coughs> are also forgetting is that Rizo was said to be a, a girl at one point. So we're saying he may be a girl. I thought he may be a girl at one point. I was wrong. I'll admit to that. But to anyone who said Rizo would be a parody of an Arthur character, congratulations to you. And yeah, a lot of people's theories came true during this chapter, which is rare. A lot of the time, one piece theories are wrong. But. No offense, it's your theory, but, of course, I need to talk about the kitty mode and a Momonosuke thing. Now, Momonosuke is not kitty mode's son. I did not think he was kitty mode's son. A lot of people did it, and we were all right. Congratulations to us, because when you really think about it, it just didn't add up. But who cares if it doesn't add up? It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing the way it was handled. Kenny Moan is really just pretending to be his father when in fact <coughs> Momonosuke is and this is the great part. Momonosuke is the son of the Wano country Daimao, which is a great lord in the Wano Kuni, which is amazing. Everybody is like bowing down to him and calling him Lord. And Luffy, one of my favorite names in the chapter, is after when Luffy put grabs Momonoke, he's like, I don't give a crap about that. Why would I treat you any differently? Amazingly done scene. Amazing. And then of course there's the red poneglyph that Robin finds, which is interesting. I mean, I've never heard of the red poneglyph before. That is very interesting. My theory and it's a pretty basic theory, is that this Poneglyph, since this said to be used for a different purpose, I believe this Poneglyph contained information on an alliance between the ancient kingdom and Zo. We remember, the island of Zo is a thousand years old, so if there was an alliance between the people of Zo a thousand years ago, and the ancient kingdom, it is possible that they wrote down the contract or information for the alliance on a red Poneglyph and left it on Zo, or maybe it is red from blood. Maybe it's more like stained red. <clears throat> that is a possibility. That is a very high possibility. But I do want to point out that we had no Sanji this chapter. Which was unfortunate. This is the year of Sanji and we've had like two chapters without Sanji. What's going on with that, Oda? But I do have a feeling with the next two chapters, we're going to get a Sanji chapter, which I'm hyped for. But, a lot more happened in chapter. We also got confirmation that Jack is alive. Now, I never doubted for a second that Jack was alive. Some people thought he was, we were like one or two people who thought he was dead. I think you're, I honestly think if you thought Jack was dead, I don't mean to sound like an asshole, but you're an idiot. You really are. If you thought Jack was dead, you're an idiot. Because there was no reason they would hype up a character this much. Build one up. <coughs> Next month, and then you'll kill them off great. That'd be, that'd be the biggest bullshit ever pulled in one piece. There, that, that, that's not gonna happen. And people that win, the, the majority of the fandom were correct. Jack is alive and he's doing damn good. Uh, we don't have confirmation on whether or not he saved, um, Doflamingo. I don't think he did. One, because Doflamingo is a previous villain, and he's too powerful to just be kept around. He really is. He, He's debatably stronger than Luffy, still. So if you catch him around, you would have to worry about him coming back. And I don't think Oda wants to deal with that. 
though, there's also the fact that the government lies a lot in their new paper report. So, even if it says in the new paper, oh, Jack is dead, they don't think they're going to impel down. <coughs> I don't buy that load of crap for a second, because why would I believe anything stated by the world government? The, the world government, they lie all the time. They already have been made to look very bad because of what Fujitora did on record uh, with the whole going against Akainu and bowing and being like, I am dearly sorry to be asked of Do Flamingo. That made Akainu, Sazuki, the fleet admiral, lose a lot of faith. He lost a lot of faith in, in the public, in the eyes of the world, which is not good. So I really see them having even more reason now to lie in the new report. So even if he had freed Del Flamingo, they may have lied about it, but I don't think it's a lie. I do think Jack was defeated, he's obviously injured, and I do not think he's defeated in his goal. Now, moving past Jack and the whole saving Del Flamingo thing, this is a very good chapter because there's a lot of great comedy, as I mentioned before. Uh, the end of the chapter where, where Luffy, Usopp, and I believe Chopper, Say Rizo is our god. Rizo is god. I love that. That was that was, that was priceless. Had me cracking up, laughing hysterically. This was this is really an amazing chapter. Even Zoro and Law had some great lines. Law's line with the whole shadow clone clone thing is amazing. Zoro has amazing lines in it. Like Zoro's a couple of lines are great, like when he asked him to like go get stabbed and pierce through the chest or something, that was great. So in character for Zoro. This is a really good chapter. If I had to rate it, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I know I normally don't give 10 out of 10, but I'm doing it anyway. This is the kind of chapter I could go on about for a while, but I'm gonna end the review here. I may do a stream later just talking about the chapter. I may do a stream. I may do one at some point today, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And tell me what you thought about the chapter in the comment section down below. But guys, above all else, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation signing out. And damn, this was one good chapter.